I have very strong reason to believe that XRP and the rest of the markets are likely to see a pretty steep correction in the very near future. That's why I'm making today's video to share with you guys some really crucial information that you guys can put into your trading journey in order to save yourself or even potentially make yourself a good amount of money. Now, we're going to be going everything from the stock market and some recent massive manipulation that's been happening there uh, jerome powell and some news that he's talked about uh, in regards to the general economy and jobs which is really crucial and of course we're even going to be type typing a little bit into uh you know famous youtuber by the names of cryptos are us who talked about all of these subjects a little bit in a recent video as well so ladies and gentlemen i need you guys to hit that like button this one is a really important one everyone needs to see it and let's get into the video and so i'm going to start with a uh, cryptos are us and something that he said recently in a youtube video that he uploaded which i actually agree with so i number just want to start with this let's listen up to what he has to say here and if the jobs report on friday is horrible for some reason or worse than expected let's just say worse than expected then it gives him more ammunition to cut more right um so right now the percentage is still about the same as last week and weeks before 33 percent 50 basis point 67 percent 25 basis point we saw inflation numbers come down pc was just reported last week came down overall inflation is where he wants it to be so it's just now it's just like the the labor force right labor market and unemployment so if those come in lower than expected it's definitely going to bump up that percentage for the rate cut so yeah yeah important point there right and so we're going to dive a little bit into that because first and foremost yeah that, that that's crucial right number one uh, if you guys don't know, Jerome Powell lowering the rates is a really bullish sign because that just essentially means the cost of debt just went down, which causes people to have more expendable income to invest. And that accounts to XRP, Bitcoin, all of the stock market, real estate, you name it. People are putting a lot more money into all of those markets. And generally speaking, the most bullish market conditions are when there's an excess of capital and really low to zero interest rates, which is what we saw during the previous cycle where interest rates were basically non-existent at that time. And we just had the money printer going crazy, right? And so essentially what Cryptos RS is saying here is that there's about a 50% chance that he lowers rates by 25 basis points. And people are thinking there's about a 67% chance it's gonna be more than that. Now, we have no exact precise data that shows that will be the case. All we can really go off of is what Jerome Powell has said previously. She basically said, you know, if the job market is where he wants it to be and inflation is where he wants it to be, he feels comfortable lowering the rates so that the economy can start to flourish, right? And recently, the job market's been having a tough time. Lots of jobs have been reported as, you know, being lost over a million jobs uh, last quarter, which is a huge number. And so naturally, this upcoming Friday, um, when we get the next report for jobs is extremely crucial. And this is happening in a couple of days. Now, why do I think that any of this is bearish, right? I just explained to you that cutting rates is good. The problem is right now, there's very little upside based around this news and a lot of downside because the markets have already priced in that Jerome Powell will be cutting rates, right? So in the event that Jerome Powell does not cut rates or he cuts rates by a low amount, like 25 basis points instead of 50, it's actually not going to be a good thing for the markets. People think, oh, rate cuts good. But when the markets have already priced in the rate cuts, then it's not good. It's like people basically are speculating and they're, they're so confident based off of the news that's circulating around that rate cuts are 100% happening. So what I would say is if Jerome Powell does not cut rates, it's going to be catastrophic for the markets. And we've seen this very recently, actually. If you want an example, just look at what happened when Japan recently raised the interest rates. There was catastrophic losses across the US stock market, the Japanese stock market, and even the stock market of Taiwan, which saw its worst day in its entire history. Like, this is what we are walking into. And in the event that Jerome Powell does not cut rates, when the markets have already priced it in, it's not going to be good. So that's something to be careful for. And 
Listen, right now there's a lot of manipulation happening in the market, so I really want to caution you guys. In, in, in a pre previous video, I, I talked about how the U.S. Department of Justice subpoenaed NVIDIA, right? Everyone believed this news. It was literally covered by all of the top news platforms, and uh, you know everyone was talking, but everyone thought it was legitimate. But then this comes out. NVIDIA issues a official statement saying, we have not been subpoenaed by the Department of Justice. So this news goes around, complete misinformation covered by all of the top news agencies owned by BlackRock and everything. And then it comes out that that's misinformation. Now, why is this so disgustingly vile and bad of a thing to have happened at this specific time? Well, Warren Buffett, yeah, the guy that owns Berkshire Hathaway, who has hundreds of billions of dollars under management, actually trillions of dollars under management. Guess what he did? Like literally two days before this news came out, Warren Buffett sold all of his tech stocks and he was sitting on $250 billion of cash. And then, of course, when the U.S. Department of Justice news came out about NVIDIA, NVIDIA goes down 10%. The rest of the tech stocks go down 4, 5, 6% in a single day. And now it comes out that this news was completely false. And this guy is just sitting on all this cash and he dumped all of these stocks and now he's buying them back? At, at the massive discount that he got based off of this false news? Like, are you kidding me? This is insane, but this is the type of stuff that we have to deal with in the cryptocurrency and the tech world and just the general stock market. But this is the type of manipulation that happens right now. And so what I'm trying to get at with all of this is all of these very same news articles that basically said that NVIDIA got subpoenaed by the US Department of Justice that caused NVIDIA to go down like 10% in a single day. They are the same news articles that are saying that Jerome Powell is going to lower rates by 50 basis points that have caused the markets, the retail, to price this in already. And so what I'm essentially saying is I think that this is a very intentional move to give investors a lot of false confidence. And I, I don't think it's going to be a 50 basis point lower. I think it might be 25 basis points, but when the markets price in 50 basis points, that's not a good sign. And, and so I just want to mention that if this happens the way that I think it will, based off of what I am seeing, it's going to be a really red day for a lot of cryptocurrencies and a lot of tech stocks. And you know, even real estate probably will have a little bit of an effect on this market as well because of all the mortgages that are out there. And, and so, yeah, we really got to watch out for this. And so am I saying don't buy XRP right now? Absolutely not. I think a daily dollar cost average into XRP is a great idea in my personal point of view right now. I still think we're on an incredible deal at 55 cent XRP. But what I'm saying is going long on XRP right now, I think is is a really big mistake. And, and there are technicals that support this as well. If we go to the weekly RSI, we can see that XRP is most definitely in the overbought position. And if we go to the daily chart, we can see that we've officially gone into the neutral zone right here in terms of buy and sell orders on the day by day. And I think, you know, by Friday, you know, there's going to be a couple more days out there. We're going to see that we're probably going to be somewhere dead in the middle and potentially even in an overbought so, uh, position in probably a week. And so when this news comes out from Jerome Powell, if it's anywhere in negative, it's going to be a really big uh, red day. And, and don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm always excited uh, to buy assets for a steal of a deal. I just don't think if we're doing leverage trading specifically, XRP is on for a steal right now. Now, am I opening up short positions on XRP? Most definitely not. These markets are crazy. They're unpredictable. And I don't like shorting XRP at all. I only really go long on XRP. So I'm going to wait for that sale to happen on XRP. And we'll have the good technicals here. And I'm going to open up a more uh, another leveraged position long on XRP. Now, with that being said, just because there's not an opportunity for XRP right now does not mean that there's not XRP, uh, or sorry, <laughs> potential opportunities for other assets, right? And so right now, Bitcoin actually is an incredible, incredible opportunity. If we go to the daily RSI for Bitcoin, we can see that it's actually, uh, you know, at the cross below the line, really bullish. And then if we change this over, uh, sorry, if we change this over to the uh, weekly, we can also see we're below the line and we're crossed right there, right? Whenever you have a, a weekly and daily cross below the line on the stochastic RSI, it's an extremely bullish sign. So I am actually 10x long on Bitcoin right now. 
and I plan to hold this position for at least uh, a few more days. So if you guys want to open up a long position on Bitcoin with me on Margex, feel free to do so. I'm going to be holding this one out for a few more days, just seeing what price action happens. And I'll tell you guys when I take profits on this particular position as well. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, link down below to sign up to Margex so you guys can trade with me. And I want your guys' honest opinion. What do you guys think of the current state of the market? Are you bullish for the short term? Are you bearish? Like, let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy the content. And don't forget to sign up to Marjorie using the link down below as well while you're there. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.